Now, you all know me for my hunting reviews. Well, or maybe you don't, but you should. I don't just review guns and accessories. I review anything and everything that I think people might be interested in. And one thing that if you like the outdoors and you do camping or anything like that, everybody needs a good source of light. Now, it's not just for camping, but also, you know, power outages or emergency situations, anything like that, everybody needs a good source of light. Now, it may not be the most exciting kind of review, but, you know, it's actually critical and really important nonetheless. Now, my wife and I, we really love the outdoors. She especially loves camping, and a source of light is always high on the list for making sure to get packed. Now, in my youth, I used to do a lot of camping and a lot of backpacking, and size and weight are critical. Also, function and basically battery life are really important, and that has changed a lot. Let me tell you, light sources in my lifetime have changed dramatically. Here's another thing with modern technology. What if your light source could actually be a battery backup for your other electronic devices like your iPhone? Yeah, I know. Everybody's thinking, but I don't take my iPhone camping. Right. Now, LED technology has revolutionized light sources such as torches, lanterns, flashlights, etc. And what it's done is it has shrunk them down. I mean, this is incredibly small for a lantern. Now this is on the bright setting. Okay. Now it used to be that a source of light was huge. Check out some of these old lanterns that I used to use back when I was camping as a young man. Now for you that are a little older, you remember way back, you know, the kerosene lantern with the wick. And then of course, you had the ones that could go on a propane tank with the filaments, but then you also had the same thing that had a great big base and you would have to fill it with kerosene. And then this is a little more modern one. It's got a little solar panel on top. It's kind of an emergency one. I can guarantee you it doesn't last a week. And then this is what we're to these days. These don't pack. Uh, well at all. You're definitely not taking any of those backpacking. This is actually small enough that I could take backpacking, but then for camping purposes, it just saves that much space. Yeah, they, they have really shrunk. And the flashlights, I don't remember if you guys remember, well, I think it was mag light, you know, the flashlight that was about this big, law enforcement carried it. You could actually use it as a, a weapon if you needed it. Now, Olight, if you're not familiar with them, they're a company that is well known for their sources of light. Now, I first got introduced to them for using them weapons mounted light or gun mounted lights, but they also have a whole lot of other lights like this that are used strictly for camping. Actually, they've got a lot of flashlights and stuff um, that are worth checking out. So when I saw their Classic 2 rechargeable lantern, I just had to check it out. The size alone on this thing and the weight is just crazy stupid. Now, when I'm reviewing a light source, you know, it's not exciting. You know, you know what all are we going to do? Like, um, you know, I typically torture test optics and stuff. I'm not going to drop this off a second story building. I'm not going to submerge it in water for a half an hour. Um, but what I do want to test, and I think what is going to be most important for you is, does it actually last as long as they say on all the settings? Now, this thing is awesome. We can dial it all the way down to something for, you know, just kind of um, a nightlight. And then we can go up to here. Okay, and this is the bottom one. And they all have times on how long they're supposed to last. And then we go on the white light. Okay, this one's supposed to last, I think it was 16 hours. We'll, we'll check that out. But on this one, okay, they claim that it lasts a week. So what I want to do is I want to test the time on all of these, see if they actually last as long as they say they do. So when we go camping or if we take it backpack and we know, hey, I've got this fully charged, this is going to last my trip. 
but then also it has the ability to recharge my electronic devices. We're gonna test and see how fast it recharges those, but then also we wanna see how fast we can recharge the battery. Does it do everything that they say it's gonna do? I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So laddering is pretty simple. It's KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Let's just time out all the different settings and see if Olight delivers. Before we do that, take a quick look at the specs and tech. You need to know what they're claiming this thing has and can do. Check it out. Okay, so we're just gonna get the tough one out of the way here. The low orange, 180 hours, a week's worth of nonstop light. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to test this. All right, so today is Sunday at 6.30. And that is the lowest setting, that's the high. And then we move into the warm white L LED mode. Let's go down. All right, and I had fully charged it. There we go. Um, I have to make sure in a week we're close to. Okay, so here's what the low looks like. Actually, let's go in a dark room um, while we've got this going. I wanna see how much light we get with that low. Okay, so there's the low, the lowest setting that we have. And this is a spare bedroom, so you can't really see. I mean, I can actually see, but with the camera, um, you can't see, but I could walk here is actually bright enough. Um, it's interesting because maybe be able to read, but the low setting is going to be good. More as like a night light or, you know, sort of a mood setting something, but not so much functional, not for reading. But anyway, that's pretty cool. 180 hours, uh, you know what? Time will tell. Hey, just quick note. It is Friday and we're still going strong. Okay, guys, so we are exactly one week. This is Mother's Day. Just got home from a great day. This has been on for one week and it's still going. I think it might probably, we'll see, he died during the night and I won't know what time, but Definitely made a week. Yeah, it's Tuesday night. I really got to get going on the review, but this thing is is just not dying. We're two days now past a week. Uh, we'll just keep going. It's kind of like the Energizer Bunny. This thing really is the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going. I was really skeptical that it was even going to make it a week. We are now Thursday. We are approaching two weeks we do have the flashing red light which tells us hopefully that the battery is going to die soon so i can continue on with this review but you know i started it a week ago sunday impressive okay so you can see that it is friday morning it was on last night when i went to bed so it finally died that's almost two weeks now what i want to do is see how long it takes to charge it back up and continue on. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming.
Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, so we just plugged it in. We'll see how long that takes to charge up. Okay, quick note here. Um, you know, it does come with the charging cable. What it doesn't come with is the outlet or what this plugs into. And I wish that they would. We just happen to have one because the kids have a tablet. But if they didn't, um, you know, everything else for our phones is a USB. Um, and that won't work. My suggestion would be include all the charging cables and hardware actually that it can use, including the Olight magnet. Now I had one of those handy that I was gonna use as well, but that takes 10 hours using the magnet. So I didn't wanna use the magnet, but we should, uh, we should be able to get this charge back up in four hours. But again, a suggestion would be include all the cables and hardware, everything that's needed to charge this in every way that it's capable of charging it. Okay, real quick here. It was actually less than four hours and we're fully charged. Okay, so it charged up in less than four hours. Now we've got it on high and we're gonna see how long that takes. Okay, I wanna shut it off for the night and restart it in the morning so we get it an accurate count. Okay, here, so it just shut off just a few minutes ago. That was on the highest setting. Okay, so what I wanna test now is, I've got one of my kids' old phones here. Pulled it out of the drawer. And I wanna see how long it's gonna to take to recharge this. It, <laughs> okay, it was showing dead, but now it's not even showing me the battery, um, but it's dead. There we go, we can see. Okay, so you can see it's dead. Um, let's hook it up and let's see how long it takes to charge it. Okay, so I just hooked it up and it is gonna power it up here. Let's see how long it's gonna take to get any kind of charge, you know, and that's, that's huge if we're out camping or if we're just out and about to have a battery source. Okay, so we're about three hours in and we're pretty much fully charged. I really like this capability of being a backup battery. And in the directions here, we have, you know, a couple of different ways of charging, both charging this and then also charging devices. You know, we've got the, the magnetic charger on the bottom. It's just, it's a really cool lamp. I, I, Seriously impressed thus far. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. If you follow my channel, you know I torture test everything. And they say that it's shockproof to 0.8 meters. Well, it survived a typical fall off a table. Now we got to check and make sure that it actually has the IPX rating that they claim.
Now here at Beyond Seclusion, we've been in a drought for last year. So waiting for a rain, uh, who knows when that's gonna be. So we're just going to simulate some rain, a heavy rain, a really heavy rain to test the water. Now I would say, I would hope that this is gonna be more than about anything that you're gonna encounter. I would say that passes. There you go, guys. Real quick here, something that I would love to see Olight offer is a solar charger, not just for this, but for all their light sources. You know, something that's affordable, easy, that we could lay out and we could charge all of our light sources with solar. That would be awesome. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. I actually was really surprised. I really like this little light. If you follow me, you know I rarely actually publicly endorse a product, you know, because it is what it is, but I do love this light. I can't wait to go out and do some more camping, maybe even some backpacking with it. Anyway, anyway until next time on Beyond Seclusion, be safe.